There's just something about fall, warm fall days with the breeze, and it just feels so different than spring. It's just, it's just so peaceful hearing the leaves and the wind. Hi! And the birds are very vocal today. So warm. So, the nuts came. Look at that. The four bags. I'm going to go add that to the birds' things. These, oh, these are for Nemo and Ava. And these came. These are for the pigeons and the doves to add a little bit of fat. And these are bulk from Mama Jeans. I'm going to add some more of those to the pigeons' food. So let's go do that. I said pigeon food. I meant to say the parrots mix. That's what I meant to say. Oh, we're going to add a bunch of nanners. Save some for us to eat. I don't think we need another bag of peanuts just yet. We're going to add all these bags of mixed nuts. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of mixed nuts. It's going to take a lot to mix this up. It has uh, walnuts, almonds, hazelnuts, pecans, and Brazil nuts. Now, well, I'm going to mix that all up for the parrots. And Nina and Ava. I think we'll be good for a while on nuts and seed mix. I always add to this, but this is great. And uh, Mama Jean's, our health food store, did actually have organic sesame sticks. But I decided against it for now. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I also got some pitted dates. I forgot. I'm going to chop them up in little pieces and put them in the bucket for the parrots as well. Okay, I chopped the second bag. Um, this, this is just dates. There's no preservatives in it. I did find some plums from Mama Jean's. But, I mean, from the store, but they're hard, but they're sweet. <laughs> I did chop one up and give it to them, but um, no luck so far. But I'm going to go put this. I already put the other one in the bucket. I'm going to put this one in the bucket now. This is the second one I chopped up. Dates. Aren't dates amazing? Dates are just like such a sweet, amazing little fruit. All right, I'm going to put them in here. Put the first one in there needs all needs stirred I think I got a great bucket full of stuff for the next few months hopefully the man paying for all this hopes it's for a few months <laughs> anyway he's a wonderful man anyway so all right I'm gonna mix it up and get my hands really good in it okay so I am really happy with this mix Lots of nuts for them to chew and forage and raisins, dates, homemade pumpkin seeds, banana chips. I got some organic noodles. Just all sorts of great stuff. Anyway, I like it. We did get three watermelons out of the garden before it got too cold, so that's nice. Um, we haven't opened them yet, so this morning I went into the pigeon aviary and I had to take one of the pigeon babies out because it wasn't going well for the pigeon babies, for Nugget and Rennie's babies. Rennie was trying her best, um, but... Uh, hi! Hello, gorgeous! Anyway, so I took the baby out as he had bruises all over his head and his back, and he was being trampled on by, um, by, uh, um, River. So what happened was River and, and the new Uzbek, the new purple Uzbek, the beautiful big guy, River and him have paired. <laughs> And it's, it's been a passionate ride for them. And uh, so uh, that's River and Dante. Um, no, I'm calling him um, not Dante. Dante is the Uzbek with the gold. But the red one is um, Vincent. So Vincent right here and the one next to him, River, have bonded strongly. So um, I came in and River and them were in this one last night, so I put something in there so they would go in that one to nest. But instead, they went in here and was trampling this little guy right here. He was getting all trampled on. And uh, I brought him in and I put salve on him, the uh, 
a castor oil beeswax salve and the pain went away for him. The bruising is much better. His poor little red nose is sore. And I tried to hand feed him once. And I brought him back for Mama to continue feeding. But I, I, it, I did catch her feeding the big one. And this one has much more energy, though his crop is not full. So Mama needs to get in there and feed that one. She's probably waiting until I got his second wind. Looks like he has. I'm waiting for him to be fed by Mom. So to save to save the babies these guys well not all of them have been wings have been clipped one one side of their wings have been clipped so they have a stick to get to the water and for the next two weeks they will not be able to fly up there to and that will save the babies and um Rinny has been there's Rinny she's been trying her darndest to to keep her babies fed. It's a big job for one. So hopefully she will feed the other one. His crop is very empty or low, very low. I'm hoping Rennie will go and feed them. Go feed your babies, Rennie. But anyway, that's what's going on in the pigeon aviary. Um, Flynn and Roxy have one baby I know of. One, oops, two babies looks like like they have two babies and red and Sophia I don't know what's going on in theirs I haven't looked so I have no idea what's in there let's see what oh I got cut off what is in there oh okay all right they have is that one baby or two it looks like they have two babies no 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 that's just one right Oh, that's just one. Yeah, just one. That's right. The other egg was rotten. Anyway, so they have one baby. Uh, so, and hopefully Mama will come and feed this one. Hello. And hopefully they will be okay. We are blessed with a very, very nice warm day. So hopefully Mama will catch up. I'm going to check them here later. Anyway. Anyway, that's what's going on here.